Okay, hello dear friends. Now let's take a look at question 11. I cropped out so it's easy for us to see. A surveying crew is measuring the height of a mountain. From a point on the ground, they measure the, the angle of elevation to the top of the mountain to be 21 degree uh, 34 apostrophe. <clears throat> they move 507 meters closer and measure the angle of the elevation to be 35 degree 41. How high is the mountain? So let's draw a picture and let's first establish the landscape line. Okay, so here is the land. This is uh, the horizon. And on top of it, there is a mountain, blue mountain. How about a light blue mountain? So we will not make it too fancy. This is a mountain. And the, the, <clears throat> the teacher wants to, us to know the height of the mountain. So this is the height of the mountain. Right? It is uh, perpendicular to the horizon line. Okay, so this is the height of the mountain, and these surveying crew, they were standing quite far away here from the mountain, and draw a line here. And then later on, they moved 507 meters, and that's it. So we have an established triangle here. So this is the starting point. Let's name it. Oh, oh sorry. I should not. I should buy a um, graphic uh, glove, right? So starting point, which is A, and moved a little bit further, come to point B, and top of the mountain is C. So this is 200, uh, 500 seven meters from one point and 500 meters, 507 meters closer to the mountain. And the first angle is 21 degree 34. And the second angle is 35 degree 41. We know two angles and a <coughs> one side. So we can use, what do we use? We use a uh, uh, law of signs. Law of signs. Not law of marriage, not law of, uh, law of sign. And you may say, oh, Haying, you must be sleeping. You must be in your dream, right? Where do you know this angle? What is this angle? Don't you know this angle? I know. How do I know it? If I know this angle, 35 degree, I can know this angle. And I can know this angle. These are all known. So let's first figure out which one. We want to know which line. We want to know. Oh, oh sorry. So we want to know this height. Okay. So it goes against this angle, right? Angle A, B, C. So angle A equal to 21, 34. And angle A, B, C, angle A, B, C. What is a degree? It's 180 degree minus, because they are supplementary angle right? Minus 35, 41. So we get, <clears throat> we get a certain angle, right? It's uh, 100, 144 degree and uh, 19. Right? So this is the angle. Now we can use the law of sine A sine A 
equal b over sine b equal c over sine c. So we have angle line, angle line. And we also need to know a, b, c, angle, angle a, c, b. What is angle a, c, b? a, c, b, a, c, b, this angle. Because we know this line, 507, we need to know the angle. The angle will be, the angle will be the 35 degree minus 41. A uh, 30, that, what, I'm sorry, 31, 41 minus 2134. How do I know this? Because C, B, something, the outside angle is the sum of angle E and angle C. So we will get it. Um, sorry, why does this always happen? Okay, so. Seven zero okay so this is the degree of it now a sine a so five now I change into blue pen five o seven over sine a oh I I should not use a sine a this is a c sine c c sine c go over sine four t zero seven equal to this degree, this degree, AC, X. Let's call it X over sine 144 degree 19. Okay, so x equal 507 times sine 144 19 over sine 14 degree 0 7. So this we need to change into um, <coughs> degree. 144.19 we need to change into degree so let's go to do it and 07 we need to change into degree so first <coughs> I am just being lazy 19 divided by 60 equal to oh, oh no need to say this equal to is 0 0.3 Zero point three two. Let's do it. And seven over sixty is zero point one two. Okay. So <clears throat> five o oh seven. Okay. Let's do it. So five o oh seven. Five zero seven times sine sine um one hundred forty four point thirty two times pi divided by one hundred eighty and that is the result, right? And then we need to divide by Sine 
sine. How many degree? I need to go back to C sine. 14.12. Uh, 14. 14 by sign 14.12 and this is degree not good times pi divide by 180 so it's 1012 one two one two one six one to one to point one six so that is <coughs> that is this height so one two one two point one six okay now let's see this is one to one to one thousand two hundred twelve point sixteen and this one will be this degree sine of angle A times X. So let's write it down here. We still make sure we are in the same page. X equal this important information. Now we are trying to figure out H equal to X time sine 23, 34 degree, right? 34 degrees, how many, uh, <coughs> how many point? We need to change all into uh, a tens. All into, you know what I'm saying, all into degrees, not seconds. Okay? Oh, let me take a picture, write it down. Sign... So let's go back. This we already got it. Time sign 31. So 34 divided by 60. 60 is 0 0.57 okay so we got this number need to time go back here time sign sign uh, 21.57 and make it into Radian time pi divided by 180. So we got the final result 445.64. Okay, so let's go back to our problem H equal 445.64. Meters. Does it make sense? Let's take a look. So this is a 507 degree. I do have some problem to make it more accurate. Now we have the information. We can make it more, more accurate. So 21 degree. Let's go here. The same line. And 21 degree must be much, much lower. Okay, 21 degree. 21 degree. This is something like 21 degree. And here is, uh, is uh, a four, ACB is 14 degree. Must be even thinner. Must be even thinner, like this, like this, and this is 35 degree, so 21, 34, 35, 
41 and here is uh, 507 and this is um, 400 well I'm not the most accurate but um, looks quite uh, quite okay right maybe we move this a little bit further and that is what we have uh, 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 figured out okay so the final result how high is the mountain it is 455.64.64 meters. Thank you very, very, very much. I love you. I really do. Do, 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 do. Bye-bye, friends. I'm on top of the world looking on the...